So here we go. It's been a couple of days since I reported on Bud Light, and I apologize because there's plenty that's been going on, and I haven't covered it because I had to cover some other stuff. But here we are back again with good old Bud Light, the, the beer that never disappoints in sense of drama and everything like that. And now, apparently, we have literal proof of just how bad it is across the entire country. Bud Light sales are down in every single state, literally every single state. There is not a single state that the sales are not down by an average of 20% per state. It is insane. Some are higher, some are lower, but an average of 20%. Massive sales drops all across the country and other beer manufacturers are experiencing spikes in sales, but Bud Light is the only one experiencing massive losses like this. So we're gonna get into the article, guys. This one comes to us from OutKick and it says, Bud Light sales have officially plunged in every corner of the country. Guys, of course, before we get into the article, please consider giving this video a like so you can push us out into the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing because we're making our way to 18,000 subscribers. It says the raging Bud Light boycott is now officially in every corner of the country. That's right. Nowhere is safe. Oh, you thought you could go into a bar in the liberal Northeast and drink a Bud Light in peace? Nope. Surely the People's Republic of California wouldn't dare boycott such a great cause, right? Wrong. A newly released map courtesy of Fox News shows just how far the Bud Light boycott has spread, and I'm not sure any amount of masking or social distancing is going to fix this one. Now, I have it brought up here on the map, and this is, it's just crazy stuff. So, you have the key system over here. Different colors mean different percentages and how much it's down, and you got to see that New York and Pennsylvania is down about 18%, including New Jersey. Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida are down about 25%. Percent, And then you have the rural states here in the Rocky Mountains. They're down almost 30%. Almost 30%. You got California that's down 18%. And that's super liberal. It's insane numbers just how bad this boycott has destroyed Bud Light. And you guys got to remember too, if you go to Bud Light's Twitter feed, they have been radio silent for over 30 days now. It's been over a month and they haven't made a single post. They've been completely quiet. You have Budweiser making posts for the brand, but Bud Light themselves has not made a single post. They have been told, I guarantee, to go radio silent because they can't deal with the backlash and they, they figure if they post anything, all they're going to do is get roasted into oblivion, which is exactly what would happen on Twitter. And Twitter is still pretty liberal on top of that. So you got to imagine that both sides... Both sides must hate the beer in order for the numbers to be down everywhere to this extent. It is terrible the amount of money they are losing every single day. And it's I, I love it. I love to see it. You guys need to keep this boycott going as long as you possibly can. So it says, like Bud Light and Anheuser-Busch's sales numbers over the past month, there's a whole lot of red there. In fact, it's all red. It's down 18% out west and a staggering 29% in the Rocky Mountain states. Goodness gracious, tack on another 25% in my neck of the woods in the great, big, beautiful state of Florida, and even 14 and 19% respectively in the liberal northeast. It is becoming increasingly clear that this problem from Bud Light is far from over. And that's the thing. They want this to be over. They so desperately want this to be over. They really think that if they go quiet like they have been on Twitter, that it's just going to blow over. And the crazy thing about this boycott is that it's not blowing over. We have stuff happening every single day. We have articles popping up every single day, stories popping up every single day, people being threatened in the streets for even purchasing. But like, I mean, this boycott has gone to an extent that I never thought it would, but I'm here for it. I'm absolutely here for it. So it says, it is becoming increasingly clear the problem for Bud Light is far from over. Gee, you think? The April beer sales numbers came out earlier this week, and it was an absolute bloodbath. Pretty much every single brew in the country, not under the Anheuser-Busch umbrella, saw massive spikes last month, while Anheuser-Busch was in the red across the board. Now, I've said this too before, that people, once people catch on to what the brands actually are for An Anheuser-Busch, they're going to make it even worse for the other brands. Just think that Dylan Mulvaney got paid already, right? Dylan Mulvaney got their paycheck and kept walking. And for that one singular paycheck, this has cost this company billions of fucking dollars, not only just in sales, but stock market value as well. Their stock has fallen because of this. It's been it's been undervalued. It's also been de-leveled a bit as well. It says, according to Beer Business Daily, Anheuser-Busch's volumes were down over 12% last month, led by Dylan Mulvaney's poster boy, Bud Light, which was down a staggering 21.4%. As if Bud Light wasn't down bad enough, two days after those numbers came out, Coors Banquet unleashed a new commercial celebrating 150 years in the most anti-Bud Light way possible. Shockingly, it went viral. Now, that's not shocking at all. And I'm sure you, you were saying that sarcastically, but still, it's not shocking at all. People are looking. Like, once you have people hating a certain company, 
whatever that anti company is going to be, that's the one that's going to get all the support that Bud Light decided to alienate. Bud Light decided to say screw a majority of their customers to go after 1% of the population. That's what they decided to do because they thought that 1% was well more important than the actual customers that have been supporting them for decades. And that's where they messed up. That's where that VP of marketing, that super woke VP of marketing did not account for in her calculations when she came up with this absolutely stupid ad they decided to do with, with uh, Dylan Mulvaney. It says, adding the fact that people are getting canned left and right over at Anheuser-Busch, and it's a giant mess right now, six weeks after the initial Mulvaney collab. Not great. I know Anheuser-Busch CEO Michael Dukaris said last week he was starting to see some light at the end of the tunnel, but I'm just not seeing it. Perhaps someone should show him this handy-dandy map for the next earnings call. <laughs> and yeah, dude, like, like I said, this map is insane. When I, when I first saw this map, I was like, wow, I didn't think it was this bad. Obviously, you know it's bad, but to realize the extent of how bad it is and the fact that it is countrywide. It's literally the entire country. That's not even a joke. Like we're not even it's we're not even saying that just to be facetious. Like it literally is the entire country is down in Bud Light sales all across the board. It doesn't matter if it's a liberal state, progressive state. It doesn't matter if it's conservative state, Republican. It does not matter. Every state is down. Obviously, depending on your political side of the aisle, it's going to be a little higher or a little lower, depending. But ultimately, the fact that it's down across the board means that the boycott for this brand and this beer has united both sides in hatred. And they're definitely taking it out on this brand. And we already know the woke doesn't like Bud Light anymore because they disavowed Dylan Mulvaney in the earnings call. And even though they didn't publicly come out and disavow Dylan Mulvaney, all it takes is for that earnings call to be leaked and them doing it privately. That's considered public disavowment now. So they're just going to say, oh, okay, you want to disavow Dylan Mulvaney that we're just not going to sell your beer anymore. We're not going to drink your beer anymore. And now you got people boycotting on both sides and you deserve it. Bud Light deserves it. They deserve the medal of ultimate boycott. And that's what we're going to be giving them time and time again. We're going to keep giving it to them because we should just not stop this boycott at all. The boycott needs to continue and it will continue. I can see this boycott continuing for a few more months pretty easily, especially if Bud Light decides to break their radio silence at any point. If they decide to actually make a post, that's just going to reinvigorate people's hatred and the boycott's going to continue. So I don't see them making a post probably for another couple of months, but time will tell whether or not that actually happens. But until then, we will, of course, be watching and roasting when the time calls for it. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.